excited to go on the road two times in a row now and, and win on the road. It's hard to win. It doesn't matter where you go. It's hard to win and on the road, and especially with quality teams and obviously Auburn and the SEC and those things. And uh, they, you know, the thing about Auburn, it, you know, they they fought to the finish and and uh, obviously scored right there at the end of the game and those things. And but uh, I'm really proud of our kids. Um, how they competed, um, really especially proud of winning the third quarter. I think that was something that we haven't done, and we went out and I think we won it 14 to nothing. And basically at that point, I'm not saying the game was over, but we were in control of the football game. And uh, we had some, a lot of good individual performances, but I'm really proud of the football team. I thought our defense got more stops than they had in the past, and offense uh, finally got going. Uh, and uh, we were able to have a, a comfortable win. So with that, I'll answer whatever you need. Sam, it looked like KJ showed today that he does lift weights. Yeah. Especially on that touchdown run, the long, the first one. Yeah. Um, second, second yeah, I mean, he just extends plays when you – really it's almost like there's no way that he can. You know what I mean? And he's just – so big that they can't get him down and strong and that was a big big play in the game and and uh but i'm really proud of him he's he's taking over the leadership of the team uh, more and more each week and and uh he had a heck of a game Sam, takes care of the ball they kicked that field goal right before half it seemed to have momentum yeah so how did you win the third quarter what did y'all do well our defense stepped up you know um uh, got them in manageable yards. You know that I guess the coming out of the third quarter they had a couple of third downs that I thought maybe we'll get off the field and we weren't able to. And then we got a stop, and then the offense went right down and scored. And then we got another one, and the offense went right down and scored. So uh, we had made a big emphasis on that at practice. I don't know, you know, if that helps us or not, but we certainly think it does. And, and we just hadn't won the third quarter. And uh, uh, with the way that we flex inside and different things, and uh, but we had to. We challenged them at halftime. That's what has to happen, and fortunately, it happened. Yeah, Sam, in the first half, you have 70 rushing yards. It's kind of low by your own standards. In the second half, you have 220. Yeah. So more than triple. What, what was the difference? Well, I think we wore them down. To be honest with you, you know our guys are in great shape up front. They play well together. And once they figure out exactly what guys are doing against them, uh, and we went back to bread and butter. You know, we went back to inside outside zone. Ran a, ran a little bit of counter against them, but um, we went what we do, and our backs got lathered up a little bit and uh, seemed to break a few more tackles. And of course, you always have that one explosive. You know, by Rocket, it seems like every week he has one of those that he takes off on, and he had, had one of those again today. He's over 1,000 yards now. Yeah, and that's something. Congratulations to him. I, I wish I'd, I should have said something about, about that so I could compliment him and the offensive line, well, the whole team, but that, that's awesome. Was he kind of just gassed in the second quarter, or why didn't he get as much action in the second quarter if he had more? Well, uh, simply because we, we – we wanted to play all three guys, and and uh, AJ to me is uh, is a really good running back, and and uh, um, it was just a rotation deal, uh, to be honest with you. This is the program's first win here in ten years. Yeah. And breaks break a six-game losing streak too long. How meaningful is that? To Means everything. Uh, Auburn's a good football program. I'm sorry. Did you have anything left? I'm sorry. <laughs> Means everything. I mean to beat Auburn, they're they're Auburn. I mean, they're a good football team. Uh, last time we'd beaten them was in, I believe, 15 in overtime. It was my last year at Arkansas. Uh, but, uh, you know, other teams have – I know they haven't won as many games as, as they had in the past, but they've played teams close, you know, and things and, and had some good games with some good football programs. And uh, to come in here, it means everything. It means a lot. Uh, I think now we've beaten every West team since I've been here besides Bama. And uh, so we need to get that one off. That need We need to do that. He says, you're going to run back and see Dominic Johnson. Is he, is he looking 
Yeah, you, you know, I'd rather talk about that uh, maybe Monday, um, if if you would. We found out he's injured, and uh, I'd rather talk about it maybe Monday, if you don't mind. Uh, just found out <clears throat> on Thursday after practice. Sam, you mentioned the defense in your opening statement. What did you see from them the five week and then this Auburn prep week that's really been able to have them take this step? Well, we got four guys back. Yeah. You know, that helps. Uh, got a healthy Brainy and then, you know, Jaden Johnson. And we got uh, uh, Kyrie and Slusher. You know, guys we haven't had. Uh, it makes it easier to sub, you know, when your subs aren't you know, starting the entire game. And then what happens, like Mississippi State, two of those guys get hurt, you know, and then you, you know, uh, you're playing with inexperience. I think that's, I think that's part of it. I think our good players played well. I thought our D-line uh, did some things, you know, uh, as far as moving Ashford, uh, you know, and getting him moving a little bit. Um, but I think overall, I think we got healthy, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. And I know, People look at that as an excuse. I'm not trying to make any excuses. I'm just telling the truth. We, we, we got healthy, and we should have a better team when we're healthy. Coach, last week over uh, 500 yards, 600 yards against BYU two weeks ago. Today, 520 total. Pretty balanced pass, pass 234, rush 286. Got to be happy with the way the offense is playing. Man. Uh, we and it's not one guy, you know. I know Rockets, you know, making a lot of yards and all that, but you've got three or four receivers making plays. You got a back or two, KJ, um, the offensive line, Trey, uh, Knox. I mean, you got you got a lot of weapons in there, and we're not afraid to use any of them. And I think that's whoever's having that game. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be just him. Like Matt, I think Matt caught three or four passes today. One. Quite quite long, maybe sixty some yards, but um, each guy's kind of stepping up, and we believe in them all. And K, more importantly, KJ believes in them. And the offensive line uh, has been playing well. So that that once the old line plays well, and you have talent around them, you can you can get some yards, and score some points, which I think it was fifty some last week and forty one today. Sam, I know how frustrating that Mississippi State loss was tonight. Back to back road wins. You feel like the season's kind of back on track. I hope so. You know we're we're five and three where we were five and three last year, and uh, the the difference is you know obviously different opponents, uh, and the other thing is we have three of our next four games at home, and our fans will be rocking that place, and they will uh, next week being homecoming, and we'll have an opportunity to have a great week, and that would give us opportunity to get bowl eligible, and that's a big big deal, uh, and then. As the year keeps going on, depends on what bowl you get to go to, but at least you're eligible if we can be uh, good enough to beat a really fine Liberty team. And you guys are backed up to the six yard line, still a game, and the Rocket goes 76. <laughs> that was so awesome. That play and well, I loved it, is what happened. Um, I didn't see him squirt through there, but once he got past everybody, I, it was a foot race between him and I think Papo, and I think Papo. Uh, got him down eventually, but um, it was a big, big play for us. I mean, uh, because early in the second quarter, maybe first quarter, we couldn't get out of there, you know, and we had to punt it out of there. And we, it was the first quarter, punted it short, you know, maybe to the 50 yard line or something, and and uh, they took advantage of it. So uh, for us to, you know, the goal there is two first downs, you know, to kind of move the chains and flip the field with a nice punt, but when Rocket win, that was a huge part of the football game. What did you see on the block field goal? I think he kicked it low, to be honest with you. I'd like to give credit to a lot of people, but I I think I, I think he kicked it low, to be honest with you. I'll have to look. I do think we had some good penetration on it, uh, but it was blocked up the middle, I believe, uh, from what I saw, and I think he kicked it low. You had a direct snap to Dominion for one of Yeah, wasn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah, it's exactly what we put in uh, in the bye week, and uh, you know they're faking an option play off of it and snapping it to R Dub, and man, it worked like a charm. We needed it. it was third down, you know, third and goal, and and uh, yes, that was a bye week thought of KBs and them guys. And to go off of that, you know, Rashad Devine getting the ball in the red zone when it matters. Yeah. I mean, what does that say about the? Well, we trust him. Yeah. 
you know, uh, he's a really good player, mature kid, does everything that we ask him to, works hard, and he can make you miss, you know, and, and he's tough. Uh, I like him. I, th I think he has a great future here, but we, we trust him. Yeah, Coach, all wins are precious. Is the BYU win, is this one different than two weeks ago? Yeah, because it's an SEC. It's an SEC win. And so, it, uh, no disrespect, but it means more. You know, it gets us up. And you know, now we've got two SEC wins, you know. We're two and three, I think, right now. And, and it just means it means more. Finish where you you know you want to see where you fall in the league and and uh, you know it helps in recruiting all kinds of different things. But yes, uh, coming into a place that holds ninety thousand people or one hundred ninety seven or whatever it is and able to win against a good team, yeah, it means a lot. Sure does. You always celebrate with you know, coming up with field after win. You see the fans, but you look really really happy. You know, giving him the fist, all that. Uh, yeah. How was that? What was that feeling? Relief. I mean, you know, we have the greatest job in the world, but about Friday night at eight o'clock p.m. to the time they kick it off, it's horrible. You're stressed. You're worried. You're concerned about every this, every that, whatever's going on. It's the greatest job, and it's the greatest, worst feeling you'll ever feel. But it happens every week. Sometimes it's worse than others. Uh, today, I just I felt like we were ready, we were prepared, and I felt like we had the best team, and I felt like we should win. And uh, that's no disrespect to anybody, to Auburn or anybody, but I felt like we had the best team, and we should win, and, and certainly we did. One more. They hit that field goal, got blocked in 17 16. They got some more. And then you guys go down and score, get some more separation. In retrospect, how big a play was that? I think it was big, you know. And, and I think there was maybe a sack before that. I, I believe there was. Uh, maybe it was Slusher or somebody. And, uh, you know, that really basically, I mean, it was a long field goal. And he had to, he had to drive it, and it was 50 something, I think. And uh, But that was a big, big, and we, we went down and scored, big, big part of the game. Yeah, it hadn't been a long time, you know. Um, uh, we knew it. You know, it's on paper before the season starts, and you're like everybody else. You go, oh, you know, and, and then, oh, well, we'll get back home. You go, oh, well, we didn't. It is what it is. So you never – you might think about the roads that were on the road, but you're going, hey, we got three at home. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to win all of them. But you got a better chance at home than you do on the road, and so we're really excited to be back home.